Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and this is your full body body weight workout. Great for anybody who wants to work out with no equipment. If you love at-home workouts, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel, or better yet, click that join button and become part of our YouTube community for more accountability and support. All right, you guys, we've got a do it anywhere workout using just your body weight, all body weight, no equipment, no repeat, and it's quick and dirty. Are you ready, Rach? I'm ready, I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, you can do this workout anywhere. One of those workouts when you just wanna move, you don't wanna pick up weights because maybe you're tired and sore, great for beginners, great for anyone, and um, it's no repeat. So now I know you guys love that, so it's really gonna fly. Today's workout looks like this. You have 16 exercises. You're gonna do each exercise for 45 seconds of work, rest for 15 seconds, and move on to the next exercise. You only do each exercise one time, so give it your best go. Let's get warmed up and jump right into this. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're gonna warm up, so give me a big inhale, reach up nice and tall, exhale, baby back bend. Nice, take those hands right here and go elbows to me, squeeze your back. Elbows to me, squeeze your back. Nice, go four, you got it. Three, we're gonna go into a hip hinge in two and Oh, one, so elbows are gonna stay pointing out to the sides and now it's a hip hinge, a little good morning action. Push those hips back, push those hips back, drive through the heels, stand tall, warming up the hammies, the quads, or not the quads, the hammies and the low back and the glutes is what I meant to say. Quads are your thighs, we're not there yet. Nice, go for three, two, because I said quads, let's do it. Go for some butt kicks, warm up the quads, top of the thighs, stretch them out, eight, seven, six, you got it, five. Four, three, two, let's squat it out. Come into a nice squat stance and just drop low, drive through those heels. Down and up, down and up, you got it. Eight, nice work. Seven, drive through your heels. Six, knees are gonna track out towards your outer three toes. Go, four, nice. Three, we're gonna move side to side in two and one. Take a giant step right and we're gonna go two squats to your left, two standing crunches, so it looks like this, left, Together, left, together, crunch, crunch. Now take it right, right, together, right, together, crunch, crunch. Drawing that knee over towards that midline. Up, up, there we go. Right, together, right. Draw that knee in, in. Nice, we're gonna go one more each way. Draw that knee in, in. Nice work, go side. Together, side, together, pull, pull. Let's go for some standing jacks. We're gonna tap, tap, keep it low impact. Go eight, seven, big arms, get them over. Head for four, three, two, one. Take those arms out to the side. Take left hand to right toe, stand tall. Little cross body rotation, stand tall. Opposite hand, opposite toe, down and up. Down and up, nice work, go four, yes, three. High knees in, two and one. Just march those knees in, march them in, pull up. Nice, get that blood pump in. You ready to jump into this workout, Rach? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do this, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab a quick sip of water and we are gonna jump in. Like I said, you have 16 exercises, all body weight, no repeat, you do each exercise for 45 seconds of work. So we're gonna start with move one. It is a good morning shoulder press. So just like we did that good morning, hands are gonna come here, fingertips can be right by my ears, not pulling on your neck. You're gonna give me a hip hinge, stand tall, then you're gonna goal pulse the arms, reach, pull. Back to here, good morning, reach, pull. Good morning with a shoulder press. All right, using just our body weight, we go in three, two, let's go, so hip hinge, Stand tall, arms come out, up and down. Nice, hinge up, reach over head, pull down. You wanna create resistance with your body. So I'm not just moving through this motion, little hinge, I'm genuinely activating shoulders and lats, shoulders and back. Nice, out, up, down, soft bend in those knees, push the hips back, stand tall, reach and pull. Nice work, you guys. Awesome job. Reach and pull, awesome work. We got 10 seconds here. Reach and pull, nice work. Core stays tight. Reach and pull for five, four, three, 
two, and rest for 15 seconds. We're gonna go right into squats. So find a nice squat stance. Feet can be shoulder width or a little bit wider. Just gonna sit down, drive through the heel stand. Sit down, drive through the heel stand. All right, we go squats in three, two. Let's go, chest up, eyes up, stand up tall. Driving through your heels to stand up tall. Knees are tracking towards your outer three toes. Drop your seat, drive up. Drop and drive, all right? We love squats. If squats irritate your knees, you can always take this back to a wall sit, so an isometric squat hold. Option, you could squat to a chair or a box or a bench. Just tap your butt and then stand up. Option, you can always do glute bridges instead of squats to activate those glutes and hammies from a lying position. Love all the choices. Great options. options. for everybody, yeah. right? Options for everybody. 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Drive through those heels. Stand up tall for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now we're gonna go into a two pulse squat. So we're gonna add on with two jabs. We're gonna get that upper body involved. So pulse, two, stand up, jab, jab. Two pulse squat, two jabs. We go in four, three, two, let's go, let's go. Pulse, two, drive through the heels, jab, jab. Pulse, two, right, left. Pulse, two, right, left, nice. Pulse, two, right, left. There you go, knock it out. Adding a little bit of upper body and lower body combinations. Again, using just your body weight, thinking about how you can create resistance with that body weight. We're doing time under tension at the bottom, that little pulse. It's a great way to increase the intensity for the lower body without adding any dumbbells. Nice, then you stand up and you knock it out. Pulse, two, 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Nice work, team. Awesome job, finish. Three, two, and one, nice work. Now we're gonna go into lunges. If lunges don't feel good for you, follow Rachel. So I'm gonna go right foot forward, left foot is gonna go back. I pulse, two, three, drive, and hold. Three pulse lunge, Rachel's gonna give you a runner instead in three, two, let's go. Pulse, two, three, hold. Pulse, two, three, hold, nice. So I'm thinking about driving through this front right heel to activate my glutes and quads. Rachel's staying nice and loaded in that front right leg and driving that back knee in. A little bit more of a cardio challenge than a strength challenge. A little bit gentler on the knees if lunges don't feel good for you. Again, you can always take it to an isometric lunge hold. Great option. Other option, you can always go back to those glute bridges. If you want a lying position that is squat free and lunge free. 10 more seconds here. Two, three, and drive. Nice work, finish. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now I'm gonna stay standing on my right leg. I'm gonna balance, if I can, drawing this left knee up. Remember those back squeezes we did in the warm up? Squeeze and squeeze. So I'm just holding that balance position, keeping my core engaged, core and back. Get it up. Hold that balance, soft bend in this knee. Knee in line with hip, bring the arms up. Squeeze your back. Squeeze your back. Nice work. Squeeze, pull your shoulder blades together. Soft bend in that standing leg. Rachel showing you can always rest both legs on the ground and focus on the upper body right here. Okay, you could take this leg slightly out in front of you to stagger that balance or you could draw it up into that full balance. Squeeze your back. Squeeze your back. Nice. Back and shoulders. Adding that core. Balance challenge. Yes, you can stay with it. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Finish right here. You got it. Final five, four, three, two, and recover. Nice work, we're gonna go back to that three pulse lunge other way, so this time left foot forward. Right leg goes back into my three pulse lunge and drive. Rachel's got your runners. I'm gonna give you the full lunge. Pick your level, whatever feels best for you and your knees today. We go in three, two, let's go. Pulse, two, three, drive. This time I'm driving through my left front heel. Working my left glute and my left quad using just my body weight. Again, how do we add intensity without using any equipment? We add these little tiny pulses. We increase that time under tension of the hardest part of the exercise, right? Right here, pulse, two, three, drive. Pulse, two, three, drive. Nice work, team. Pulse, two, three, up, woo, find that balance. Pulse, two, three, drive through that front heel, get that knee up. Pulse, two, 
three. You're almost there, team. Finish it. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice, now we're gonna stand on the left leg. Right leg's gonna come up if you can. Balance back fly again. Balance back fly again, right? Nice, all right, here we go. Soften in this leg, option to dry this up. Elbows to the back in three, two, let's go. Squeeze your back. Again, soften in that standing leg. Balance challenge is an option. If you're working up to that balance challenge, just give me a toe tap out here in front of you. A little toe tap out there in front of you. Option, draw that knee up. See how many reps you can get through holding it up. Take a break and set it down when you need to. Nice work, team. You got it. Squeeze through that back. Pull those shoulder blades. Squeeze them together. Nice. Squeeze. You got it. Moving on. Moving on in 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Stay with it. We're gonna go lateral squats in five, four, three, two, you're out. Nice work. Now we're gonna take it a little bit wider. Your toes are gonna face me or slightly out. You're gonna hit side, side, hold, two. One, two, double pulse on that third one. So three lateral squats, double pulse. Let's hit right in three, two, let's go. Right, left, hold, two. Left, right, hold, two. Right, left, hold, two. You're driving off that bent knee or really targeting here your outer glute. That outer glute is working for you to shift you side to side. One, two, hold on the third. One, two, hold on the third. You got it. I also like to think about drawing rib cage to thigh. One, two, rib cage to thigh. One, two, double pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're out. Nice work, you guys. Absolutely crushing it. Shake out the legs. Let's tap it into the upper body. You're gonna give me a hook and tap. Hook, 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 hook. So you're flexing that bicep, driving your hand like you'd go right into someone's cheekbone. In three, hit right. In two, let's go, let's go. Hook, 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 hook. I want you to think about flexing that bicep. You're using just your body weight to create resistance in your upper body, gonna raise that heart rate just a bit right here. Hook, 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 flex your bicep. There you go, boom, boom, land it, land it. Nice work, team, keep moving. You got this, right here. Nice work, nice work, you're in that final 10. 10 more seconds, yes you can. Yes, land those punches, final five, four, Three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. Just like we did in the warm up. Giant step right. Two squats to your left. And then you're going to give me that knee crunch. Two squats with two crossbody knee crunches. Step to your left in three, two, let's go. Left together, left, right knee. Crunch, crunch. Now hit right, right together, right, left knee. Crunch, crunch. Hit left, left. Together, left, together, right knee, right knee, right, together, right, together, left knee. So that inside knee is what you're pulling across your body. Nice, pull, pull, you got it. This is move 10 of 16, guys, 10 of 16. You are absolutely crushing it. Just keep moving. Stay with us, 10 more seconds here. Nice work, boom. Boom, last three, two, you're out. Nice work, now we're gonna hit the mat for the final portion of our exercises. We're gonna go into a modified side plank. I'm gonna go right forearm on the ground, elbow is stacked directly underneath my shoulder, legs are bent right here. I'm gonna do a modified plank lift off. So I'm gonna lift, two, three, and then I'm gonna hold for a three second count at the top. Three plank lift offs into a three second side plank hold. Okay, my inside knee is gonna stay connected to the ground. Option to lift this outer glute to work these outer glutes. All right, we go in three, two, let's go. Lift for one, two, three. Hold, hold, hold for three, two, one. Back to lift up, three, two, one. Hold it high, hold it high for three, two, 
One, so you're holding at your highest point for three seconds. After those three liftoffs, hold it high for three, two, one. Back to the plank, lift, lift, hold it high, hold, hold for three, two, one. 10 more seconds, three, two, one. Hold it here, this is it, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, Ooh, that'll burn. That inside glute. All right, we're gonna roll over and do some push-ups. We're gonna do some push-ups before we hit the other side. Push-ups, you can take these from your knees, you can take them from your toes. It is entirely up to you. It's 45 seconds of push-ups. You could always take your hands to an incline. Here we go, in three, two, let's go. So you're gonna lead with the chest, exhale, push-up. Inhale down, exhale, push. Neck is in line with my spine. Lead with my chest, push the ground away. All five fingertips are connected to the ground in each hand. Nice, pull up on your kneecaps, push back on your heels. You got it, you got it, one rep at a time. Lead with that chest, big strong move right here. You can always drop down to those knees. Woo, feel the burn, feel the fire. You got this team, you got this. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Go 10, nine, eight, you got this. Seven, stay with it, six, five, four, three, two, and I'm out. Woo. Holy bananas. That's what we say when it gets tough around here. Push-ups are one way to get me to say holy bananas. Left arm on the ground, left shoulder stacked over left elbow. Same thing, bent knees. Lift off for three, two, one, hold for three and three. Two, let's go, lift for three, two, hold, hold for three, two, one. Here we go, down, lift, two, Three, so you're working this inner glute, this oblique, this outer glute, back to lift off. Three, two, one, hold, hold for three, two, one. Challenging move, Rachel, yes? Yeah. You can always do what Rachel's doing and keep this leg down. Hold it high, hold for three, two. You're in the final 10. Do you feel this glute working for you? Stabilizing Woo. everything. Holy right. bananas, come on. Hold, hold for five, four, three, Two, you are out. Ooh, good go. news is you get to go down all the way to your backside. We go for glute bridges, dead bugs, and bicycles. You have three moves left. Glute bridges, walk those heels nice and tight to your glutes. Lift and hover. We go in three, two, let's go drive through your heels, lift and hover. Lift, squeeze at the top, hover. That means your glutes never hit the ground. You're keeping constant tension on your glutes. Lower with control, lift, lower with control. If you don't feel this in your glutes, walk your heels tighter to your booty. The farther your heels are away, the more hamstring you're gonna get. Hold at the top, isolate and squeeze. Nice, squeeze. Keep your knees in line with your hips. If you wanna make it harder, take your hands overhead. You'll notice when your hands are down here, you're pressing into the ground. Take away that balance and stability and put the work into the glutes. Right here, 10 more seconds. Yes, you got it. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Glute bridges, great exercise if you have knee pain and you're looking to work your glutes without squats or lunges. All right, dead bug. Opposite arm, opposite leg extend away from the body, hitting the core in three, two. Let's go, opposite arm, opposite leg extend. Option, don't have to straighten the leg, legs. The longer the lever, the harder it's gonna be, right? So you can always tap like Rachel. The closer my knees are to my chest, the easier this is. The farther they are, the more tension has to build in the core, okay? So the farther your arms and legs move away from your body, the more difficult the exercise becomes for your core, which is the 29 muscles between your shoulders and your pelvis that are working, right? It's not just your six pack abs, it's so much more than that. I got my, my opposite arm, opposite leg mixed up there. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice work. How far can you extend that leg away from your body for five, four, three, two, and one. We finish with bicycle crunches. Rachel's gonna keep her feet on the ground and go opposite, opposite. I'm gonna let those legs float and I'm gonna draw them in. Pick your level. We go in three, two, let's go. go. You're just crunching and crunching. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. But instead of thinking elbow to knee, try thinking shoulder to knee shoulder to knee, because instead of just letting your elbow collapse in and not really doing the work for your abs, 
You're forced to lift and sink shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Draw that shoulder to the knee, shoulder to the knee. Lift and crunch, lift and crunch. You got it, guys. 20 seconds, yes you can. Finish this workout nice and strong. Lift, right here, lift. You got it, final 10, nine, eight. You got this, seven, stay with it, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You did it, you did it. Awesome work, we're gonna go for a nice long body stretch right here, big inhale, big open mouth exhale. Awesome job, go ahead, draw your knee in, one knee, doesn't matter. Pull it out towards your armpit. Send it long, option to climb up and stretch your hamstring. Pull it back in and then just guide it across your body, keeping both shoulders connected to the mat. Nice spinal rotation. Nice, same thing, other leg. Draw the knee in, take it out to the armpit. Send it long, option stretch that hamstring. Pull it back in, guide it across the body, keep the shoulders connected. Spinal rotation. Come back to center. Roll yourself up to a seated position. Take your fingertips, face them towards your booty. Heels are on the ground. Lift off and bridge. Open up your chest from all those push-ups. Let your neck hang heavy. Great stretch, especially if you sit at a computer or a desk all day. Gently guide down back to the ground. And that is your body weight, no equipment, no repeat workout. I hope you loved it. Nice work, Rachel. There you go. We'd love to see you back on the mat for another workout soon. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me for that workout. If you loved it, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've queued up another workout you might enjoy right here, or check out my free two-week strength training plan at home in this playlist right here. Have a great day.